Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, there's a question of 2020 October, 42 variant. And question we have here. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, fill the values of graph function. Okay. So plug in this well one. Okay. This one in the place of this equation. So we get two. And when plug in this two in the place of this X, okay. Some student don't know. I just show once. So plug in two means two square. Actually, y is equal to x squared plus one over x. So y is equal to two square plus one over two. So it becomes four plus half, so 4.5. So 4.5 we got here. Okay, this is done. Now I'm going to uh, make the diagram. Already negative part, negative section, he, he drew already. And this is a positive. Oh, you see that all values are positive. So where is a point? But before I, I think last time, and let them explain, whenever you need to sketch uh, the graph function questions, so you must need a scale along x axis and y axis. How to find out a scale? I taught a formula, value by number of boxes. Number of boxes. Like value is what, this, this is a 0.5, or this is a one. So if it count as a one, so one and do, do I, how many boxes are here? 10 boxes. So 10 boxes, it becomes 0 0.1. It means one small box is equal to 0 0.1 along X axis. Same formula I will use along Y axis. Along Y axis, this is a one. So I'm keeping in the top one. And number of boxes with count, so it is a five. So five and a divide, it becomes 0 0.2. It means along y-axis, one box is equals to 0 0.2. And this is a very, very important before to sketch it. <clears throat> Otherwise, students cannot find the point. For example, where is 0 0.2 along x-axis? Because I know one box is 0 0.1, so two boxes is 0 0.2. Okay, so I make a line. Inshallah, I believe you will understand, inshallah. This is a line, you can see this one. This is a line of 0 0.2, very clear. Now, where, what is the Y value 5, 5.0? Where's the 5.0? There's a very clear 5.0 is this line. And where the meet? The meet here. So I will label, I will point it and I will raise it. You see, you can see this, this point comes here. Now let's talk about 0.3. I know that one box 0.1. So three boxes like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1 give you 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 is a three boxes. So I'm going to make a line and inshallah, I believe you will understand what I'm going to do. These are three boxes. Done. Now what along y-axis? 3.4. 3.4 is where? Three is here. Here. I know one box is a 0.2. So 0.2 plus 0.2 give you 0.4. So it means from about three, two box above. So two box above, I make a line here. So I meet, meet here. So the point is so simple and clear. Uh, so you see that Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, so accurate values I am getting. So this accuracy is very important. So let's talk about the third point. X is a 0.5, which is very clear here. Y is 2.3. Now, 2.3 is a little bit tricky. Two is this line above one box, above 0.2. It means one full box and one half box. Half box. So from two, how much to go up? Uh, two, one and a half box. So against from here, 0.5. Let me show you this. And this line is wrong. This is a two and a half, so it's somewhere here. So point is very clear. I try to make it. Yes, I believe all of you understanding well. It's not easy to plot, but anyway, Alhamdulillah done. Now let's talk about the uh, one and two. This is easiest, one and two. So they meet here. This is easiest. Next is a... Um, uh, 1.5 and 2.9, okay? 1.5 is here and 2.9 is from three half box down, half. Why half? Because one box 0.2 and half box 
so it means from three uh, i'm just pointing it now directly without informing you it is it is let me it is a little bit hard for me to get it so that is why is a line of the 1.5 And the way the line of uh, 2.9, it is at uh, 2.9 is uh, almost in the middle. You see, now you, you can see the point easily. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Let's talk about 2 and 4.5. So X is 2 is very prominent and 4.5 is in the middle of 4 and 5. So what I believe and I just tell you, there's a point. See, 2 and 4.5. So this is a point. Let's talk about last 2.5 and 6.7. 2.5, 2.5 is here and 6.7 is 6.7. It's hard to find it. I tell you, point two, because one box is a point two. Point two, then point two, then point two, then point one. Point two means one box, the two box, three and three and a half boxes. So I need three and a half boxes above then six. Three and a half boxes. So I'm going to make a line here, three and a half boxes. One minute, one, two, three. Yes, okay. And from here, 2.5. So they meet here. I tried, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So that's much okay. Now I'm going to sketch it now. The hardest part is this one. So I'm sketching now, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Some student, mashallah, I have seen, they join straight lines like that. Wrong. You will not join straight lines. You will join smooth curve. You can see that. Wait a minute. Just a minute, please. No, this is a little bit uh, bend, more bended. So you, you see, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam, you've seen that how I made smooth graph. So this is a done, Alhamdulillah. Two marks and four marks is achieved, are achieved. Now let's talk about C part. C part is asking what here by drawing a line. It means we have draw line graph paper on the grid. Grid stand for the graph paper for this equation. Every time when you are doing this question, this question, or this question, we look towards our actual question, top question. Every time, every time we look on the top. Is this match or not match? Yes, fully match. So this is a Y. So I will replace this one. I will get a Y. So Y is equal to minus two. Now, where is, where is school y minus 2? I taught last time. I repeat again. So, uh, uh, I repeat again. So, all of you know, equation of x-axis. Equation of x-axis is y equal to 0 because it goes to 0. <clears throat> if line go through 1, this line is 1. So, y is equal to 1. If 2, so this line is called y equal to 2. Let's say this is a minus 2. This is called y is equals to minus 2. But make sure... This all line parallel to x axis. Okay. So y is equal to some number understood line parallel to x axis. So I think this point is clear. Now I just want to make a line which is a here. Y is equal to minus two. Minus two is here. So I will make a line which passes through. I'll make a line. Inshallah, I believe you'll understand. You can see this, this line I made. And I want to label it y is equals to negative two, the same line. And it's cut the curve where? It this line intersect the curve here. And let's find out the answer. But make sure it one box is point one. So when you want to find the answer, come I'll check, calculate how many boxes from x axis. So I think so one, two, three, four, four and a half boxes. How many boxes? Four and a half. So four and a half means it is a, actually answer is. X is equals to negative four, negative zero point four five. You ask how you know, sir. Reason is very clear. From point five, half box backward. 
So a half box backward means 0.5. Which is a very clear, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, where they intersect. So negative 0 0.45. Because every time when they, they intersect, we look towards that. Okay, look, I'm showing you. Maybe some student not understanding. Look, I'm going to show you. This meet where? You can see it. They meet at here. You see the arrow helping us. <clears throat> From here, I got arrow. This line and curve, this black line and the green line where they cut each other so that if I go up, it's become negative 0.45. I believe all of you understood well how I got this answer. Now, similarly, let's talk about C2 part. Is this values match with that? Yes, sir, quickly match, you can say. So this fully is equals to Y. So I'm writing here Y. So I'm writing here Y plus X minus one equals to zero. What to do now? Reason what? Look, 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 all of you. If y equal to zero, it means parallel to x axis. Y is equal to one, parallel to x axis. Y is equal to two, parallel to x axis, right? But when x and y come together, so it means this line never parallel to x axis and never parallel to y axis. So we have to make a table. Y and this both values will go on the right hand side, will become like this. So I repeat again, this x squared plus one I got from where is fully match. Yes, it is a match, sir. So I remove these two values and copy y in the place of it. So I got y. And these two terms I copied as it is. And then I brought x and one on the right hand side. And I got negative x and plus one. Now I will make a table of two numbers. Two numbers or three numbers you wish. But ideal is a two or three maximum. An ideal number is origin. So I will plug in zero here. And this zero will plug in where? In this equation? Wrong. No, no, no. You will make an equation of line. Okay, when I put this value here, I'm going to show you y equal to negative x plus one. This zero comes here. And y is equal to negative zero plus one. It become one. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we got the one point very clear. Now I'm going to do one more point. And how to know, sir, which points we are boundary limits? This is a 2.5 and this is negative 2.5. So stay in these boundary limits. You can put any number you like. I put zero and I'm going to put two, for example. Okay. You, if some student like to put minus two, no problem. And once two understood, put one, one or no problem or minus one, no problem. Any two points. But I'm going to put two now. When I put two in the place of this X, what will happen? Look at here carefully. I got a negative one. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So I'm, get, I'm ready to uh, sketch it now. X0, Y1. Where is this point? X0 is here and Y0 here. X0, Y1. So slightly up. Slightly up means X0, Y1 here. So I got this point clear. I look at label even, a blue dot. Now 2, 1. X is 2, Y minus 1. X is two is where here. Y is minus one, one here. And where the meet, I show you this line. Uh, sorry, uh, this line. Wait a minute, because I'm making, and this line. So this point meet here. So I label it and uh, I think points are clear. Now this point and this point, I will join with a straight line and get ready. So I'm going to make a straight line. It's a little bit hard for me. I will try, inshallah because I am using some tools. Yes. So do you see that this straight line, I have it. Some student make this much only. No, you have to make across the whole diagram, whole graph. So this is clear. And this label on it, you want to label, no problem. Y is equals to negative X plus one. You label this equation, you don't label, no problem at all. Now this curve, this, curve, this blue line intersecting the curve, how many spots? Only one spot. And check it here, what answer of the X value we have here. It is some, somehow, it is, is the middle of there. So it is, if you check it, the answer comes to what X is equals to, let me calculate. It is a one half box back of negative two. I repeat, from negative two, one half box back. So it means I will go back means 1.5. So it becomes 1.85. Negative 1.85. Or if you don't like this way, no problem, count it. 
from 1.5 jump, one, two, three, and three and a half to 1.85. So answer turned to be negative 1.85. This is my final answer. One more thing I want to tell you, what, what is that? Because you are plotting this yourself, there's a range of answers. Suppose you get negative 1.9, or you get negative 1.8, or, or, or maybe you get negative two, or, or negative 1.7, all our answers are correct. You can see it in mark scheme, he will give you the range of values. Not even this, even this answer also in range. Okay, so let's talk about the last part of the question, and that is in the left-hand side, and let's see how to tackle this problem. This is another little tough idea. I won't discuss this one now. So. The word solutions, you don't know what the meaning of solutions. I tell you what solutions mean. Solutions mean, look at first of all, this is a curve. If, okay, I repeat again, this is a curve equation and I show a, a green color line. If green color line uh, uh, cut the curve one spot only, it has one solution. If cut one spot, it's called one solution. But if touch and cut, Touch and cut. Wait a minute. See, it's cutting here and touching here. So it's two spots. So it's called two solution. So, but if, if, if the line goes this way, it's cutting three spots. So one, two, three. So one here, two here, three here. It's called three solutions. Short story, what I'm telling, that when, when he asked about solutions, so how, how many uh, times the line is intersecting the curve? It's called solutions. For example, okay, interesting part. Uh, for example, if this touch and, and cut. So this line which I drew is also has two solutions. So I believe you got the point and now I go back to the question. And the question is what here? Let me read it. <clears throat> Integer, first of all, some student take decimal, 2.5, 3.5 wrong. It is wrong, why wrong? because we are bound to give integers. What is integer actually? Whole numbers, like in a number of students in the class, can be 10, can be 12, can be 13, 15, 17, 18, 20, 30, but cannot be 20.5. So integer stands for the whole number. <clears throat> so K is an integer, and it means this number can be integer, 100%. Okay, interesting part. Is this fully matched? Yes, sir, match. I repeat. X squared plus one by X match. Yes, match. It matches. So this X to power two plus one over X equal to K. I will remove the whole thing and replace by Y. So Y equal to K. And you all of you familiar whenever Y equal to some number come. For example, Y is equal to one or Y is equal to two. Hundred percent, this means a line parallel to X axis. Hundred percent. So we are getting a hint from here. What hint? That this is a equation of line parallel to X axis. It means we have to draw a line on a graph paper or plan it must parallel to X axis. One thing is very clear. Now let's see how the number can be. One thing is very clear. If you write it here, six, what I'm saying, six, K value six. So six means, uh, six means this, uh, Line will go like this. See, see my hand. Look at here. And it cut and curve. Some student think the curve, red curve is stopped here. No, this curve for going forever upwards, and this curve goes forever ever upwards. So if I ask you through six, and even this black curve is goes upward throughout. If I draw a six line here, it is cutting the curve three spots. One spot here, second spot. So it has three solutions. So three have three solutions. So if, if K value could become six, it has three solutions. Okay, I just make another example to understand properly. So if it's not going from there, for example, it going through minus four, look at this line, green line below, if it goes not from six, it go from minus six. If I draw a line minus four, sorry, minus four, not minus six, it's cutting the curve only one time. See, one time only. So it has one solution. But he's what the question he's demanding us. K integer, he say this equation has three solutions. He's not asking us, he's telling us there are three solutions. Write the possible value of the K. Now, problem, problem is this it means what are K possible values? 
I can take it. Okay, look at here. If I draw through one, it will cut the curve one time only. I show you blue curve, which can understand. Okay, look, if I make it through negative one, one come. If it goes to zero, it cut one time. If go to one, it cut the curve one time. If, if through minus three, cut the one time. So, and if it goes through two, 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 it touch and cut. So there's two solutions, so it's wrong then. I'm looking for three solutions. Can I make through three? Yes, true. So you answer, if one student write K value equal to three, he or she will get a full marks. Why full marks? Because uh, through three, if you make a line, this is called Y equal to three. It means K value is three. So it's cutting the curve three spots and three solutions match. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. If some students say, no, sir, I will make not from three. I will make from four. Y equal to four. So you write here four. Exact correct answer. Why, sir? It's cutting the curve again three spots. So it means this is also true. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So you can ask me, sir, that what is the answer for this condition now? Now you can look at here. He said, write an integer. Sorry, uh, why the value of K? If you say values, values, right? Then you can say answers are three, four, five, six onward. But he asking only value, one value only answer. So then we have to write three or one student write three, one student write four, one student writes five or six or seven or 10 or 11 or 100. All answers are correct answers. So what is my opinion? Best number. Sometimes he asks the least number. What? What least number? So lowest number is three, which gives three solutions. Two giving two solutions. Three given three solutions. Four giving three. Five giving three. Six give three. The least number, sometimes he asks you the least value of K. Sometimes he say least value of K. Then we are bound to give three answers. Because among three, four, five, six, what the smallest number? Three. So I think got a point. So that's it. The question is completely over. So our final answer is three. But if you write four or five or six or seven, all are right answers. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So I, I think the question is completely clear. So 